This is Daniel Meakin. I'm the Life Sound Tutor and Technical Services Manager here at Nexus Institute of Creative Arts at Coventry in the UK. So I'm just going to give you a quick example of how we use Air Server to solve issues within a higher education teaching environment. The main um, purpose of the, the teaching environment is to keep focus for the students. You want to keep it, everything as simple and as clean to keep their focus on what you're trying to communicate, what you're trying to teach them, what you're trying to demonstrate. Any technical glitches in that will create that pause, that awkward five, ten seconds uh, at the best where you move between devices and change things. And that often can uh, allow a space for students to lose focus. They switch off and maybe pick up their phones, start conversations. To keep it simple, I'm just going to demonstrate how uh, I would use this in a teaching environment. First off, this is a screen. I've got an Air Server strapped to the back of it, and I've got our splash screen. I'm just going to use my MacBook. I'm going to find Air Server on here. Just uh, connect to this vocal room Air Server. And it's just going to give me a screen mirror option, and I'll just pull up a keynote presentation, for example. So. Um, standard lecture thing, pull up a keynote. Nothing amazing about it. But you've got information on there you're trying to keep students focus on. After that, for example, I might say, listen, uh, it's all we're all talking about this thing, but let's look at a video, let's uh, listen to it, something. Now, where you might traditionally have the headache of embedding a video within this device, perhaps you want to look at a website and something more dynamic, there's something more interactive. Instead of having to close the application and come out of it, just pull something up next to it. So here, I'm going to use my Android phone. Um, works great with their server, just connects. Tiles it up next to it. So I'm going to pull my phone up there. Here's a website we're looking at. So I can scroll up and down this website, put that in portraits, it's a bit easier to see. Let's watch that video. I'll just make that full screen. So I've got a video going, but I'm keeping the communication, the, what I'm trying to communicate up on here. And this is really valuable from a teaching perspective, because at any point I can just, okay, I'm just going to turn the audio down on this, make a point, come back to this. Um, I'm just going to pause this, uh, scrub back, and talk about various different points. It gives me the option to pull backwards and forwards, and it just works. And this is a portable device, so I can have this wandering around whilst my laptop's carrying on doing that. You can keep that going, but then say, for example, uh, one of the students says, yeah, but there's, I've got this example of, say, uh, they've composed a piece of music and they want to play it. Oh, great, okay. So I can then take the, the student's iPad. I can connect this either directly using the hotspot that's built into the air server uh, or through uh, a network. And then I can just play a video that they might have put together. So, all at the same time, I can then compare and contrast. For example, the audio all still works. Um, if I just fade that audio up, it's all still working there. Different devices have different ways of managing the audio, but by and large, the audio is all there. Works great. So it keeps the focus all whilst keeping this going. So that's a massive advantage for the air server method of tiling devices together, particularly with 4K resolution or 4K screen, you can keep the quality up there, all these are still in HD. Um, and so within a large or small presentation format, workshop format, any of that kind of thing, air server solves a lot of those issues and as a result is a great tool for your unattended small classroom or lecture spaces or workshop spaces where you maybe can't afford to have a technician there all the time. And even so, it can be faster and slicker than that because you're allowing the lecturers and the presentation, the people giving the presentation to have complete control over what they're presenting. And so uh, that control gives them a sense of security and results in a better presentation, better learning outcomes. So yes, I would sincerely recommend this box. Obviously the backup and support from Simply NUC and Air Server themselves have been great. Uh, feature requests are implemented quickly. Within a higher education environment, particularly uh, in the sort of smaller end of things, but I can see the applications in any scale, uh, I would seriously recommend the Air Server for that device. For, 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 for continuity of teaching and quality of teaching presentation is brilliant. It's not very often that a technical solution comes up to a teaching and uh, presentation pedagogy question, but this is one of those. So, I've been Daniel Meakin, Nexus Institute of Creative Arts. Thank you for watching.